Hi guys, welcome back to Bella's Big Adventures. My name's Sue. And today Doug Bella and I have set off on a journey back to the UK again for the Easter holidays. But this time we're taking a different route to our usual one. We are obviously passing through Austria as we always do. And the first stop tonight is in Camping on Danau in St Valentine in Austria on the banks of the Danube. And uh, the campsite so far looks amazing. We're only here for one night and we're moving on further into Austria, uh, just past Strasbourg tomorrow. Uh, we're taking five days to get back to the UK this time, not the usual three because it's exhausting. Uh, so stay tuned, I hope you enjoy our journey. See you later. Turn right, then sharp left. This is arriving at our first destination. I assume we have to stop here. Beautiful blossom on a tree. Deception. Okay. This is actually quite funny because Doug's just gone to check us in and there's a camera crew in there. And I think they might have asked him to be on video. <laughs> He's not dressed appropriately. He's got shorts and a t-shirt on. Everyone else is wearing fleeces and gillets and things. <laughs> Typical Northern wearing shorts just because it's not raining. But anyway, <laughs> I think the chap is filming Doug checking in. <laughs> Can't take him anywhere. This is so funny. They want to video us driving past now, which is quite amusing. <laughs> right, so we've driven a little around the corner and now we have an entry code to get through the gate, just for the camping guests. It's quite a steep little incline here. Uh, it's quite tight because of the bushes, <laughs> but it looks like a nice site so far. They've got a nice kiddies playground and a nice flowery bit. Okay, we so don't park anywhere like Oh, okay. Hello. Right, well, we've had a spot of lunch and now we're going to go and have a look around the campsite. Um, it's very quiet at the minute. There's only four vans here and we think one of them might be one of the people who work here. But it's really pretty. It is on the banks of the river. Actually, there's a, a river or a lake both sides of us, so we'll go and have a look, see what we can see. This is the toilet block. Let me just spin you around. Hold on, Doug. This is the campsite, where all the pictures are. As you can see, they're separated out with hedges, uh, apart from this one. I'm not sure whether that's a shared one or, or tents, but there are little cabins here as well on the side of the thing. Over here we've got, let's have a quick look. We've got washing up outside, but covered. And this is the shower and toilet block. Just go and have a quick look. I don't think there's anybody in there. I don't it's think. Nice and clean and bright and orange, my favourite. Just check there's no one in. Automatic lights. Mm, very orange. I didn't book it for that reason. <laughs> so these are the toilets. Everybody's seen the toilet, I'm sure, but there we go. I got a little low sink for people in wheelchairs or children, presumably. Ah, this is the shower. Oh, they're very nice. The seating area is separate, so your clothes don't get splashed while you're getting dry, which I always find a real nuisance in some of them. It's proper screen around it, a nice big head on the shower and it doesn't look like it's a timed button push or anything like that so it's a really nice shower cubicles cross like them and I assume the gents is the same I'm not going to try and get them there obviously more washing up and I assume this is the chemical toilet mm. it's quite fancy they're normally just a hole and then we've got laundry facilities Melee washers and dryers, very nice, and a sink. 
Looks like it's three euros fifty for a wash and four euros for the dryer. And then you've got your recycling and the waste service point here and some water there. This looks like a lake. And there are little cabins on the lakes that you can rent. Lots of bird song here as well. Looks really good. Ooh, the duck. Bella likes the ducks. <laughs> what you got there, Doug? Information centre. Mhm. Mm Big, Big map. map on the wall there. Looks like there's a proper hut. Things to do and see, no doubt. Really sweet with the bunting. Big map. That's enormous. <laughs> Bella's wrapped her tail around the leash. <laughs> I'm busy to go exploring, Mum. Stop looking in the boring cupboards, she says, and I get walking. The rain sensor's going off. It is raining, yes. So it has just started raining as we come out. You're not that far from the motorway. How far would you say we are from the motorway, Dave? Six miles. Six miles. And it is really quiet and quite straightforward route in, wasn't it? Nice lake. It is. And as you can see, there are some more lovely little cabins here. There's power there for hookup for mm, something. Camping, places. Camping, maybe, yeah. Lots of picnic tables. More toilets and showers. You do have to have a code to get in and out of not only the driving gate, but the walking gates as well. The driving gates are shut from 10 p.m. till 7 a.m. It's quite a heavy gate as well, isn't it? Oops, lazy. And there is a playground here if you bring your kids in the summertime. It's huge. Slides and climbing frames, and I think you can go swimming in the lake. It's got a an area over there with a bit for you to climb in and out. This is a reception. A couple of vending machines there. Where we got caught by the <laughs> camera crew. And there's a cafe here. Ah, this is the guest garden as well with an entertainment area. So I suspect they must have music and things on in the summertime. Look at him. Amazing statue. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> a giant egg and a giant bird. That's one big egg. But look at that view. I don't know if it's well, picky. A knot, is it? Huh? It's a nut. It's a nut, is it? All right, not Maybe an egg. It's a nut. <laughs> snow-capped mountains in the background still. Jetties for your boats. And look at these spring flowers. They look awesome. Mm. Tulips, daffodils, hyacinths. I don't know if you get out there. No, you no, there? just look no. at the flowers. And all the blossoms come out on the trees now as well. You've got a crack in it, that nut, so you can see the shiny blue inside. Lots of cycle and walking paths all the way around the river. Apparently there's about 500 kilometres worth. And blossoms come out beautifully now, the cherry blossom is just coming out. It's a nice area. Nice That's boats great. and sweet little church there, I assume. It's got a sundial clock on the front. Built in 1682, it says. Sculpture made of fish into the shape of a tree. Are they fish or lizards? You've got legs by looks of things. Some of well, them. Some have. of them have anyway. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> hmm. Fins or legs? Hmm, your guess is as good fish as mine. Yeah. I think they're fish. A fish tree, I think. Hmm. Anyway. It's hmm. a magic horn. A magic horn. Magical horn. I made that up. You made that up? What does it yeah. say? 
from is by Miguel. Horn. Miguel. Horn. <laughs> I can't Not read. a magic no, horn. I, I'm not Didn't have his on. glasses on. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Bells. Come on. Come on. <laughs> She's seen the black Labrador. <laughs> Absolutely stunning. Really nice camp. It's well spaced out. You don't feel like it's as big as it is, to be honest. Plenty of green space. And then they've got the lake on the other side, which is really nice. I bet it's busy in the summertime. Back for coffee. Uh, we have had a torrential downpour as usual wherever we go. Uh, howling gales. Doug took Bella up for a walk this morning, didn't he? Um, saw lots of wildlife. Uh, got absolutely soaked and muddy, but hey ho, you've got to enjoy yourself while you can. Uh, it is a fabulous campsite. Uh, it's 30 euros, including taxes for two people and a dog, but the facilities are amazing. The toilet block's really good. Um, so yeah, so now we're just about to set off and we don't really know where we're going, we haven't? No. <laughs> we haven't programmed in where we're going, but Aken. Um, Akensee. Akensee we're going to. So we're booked into a campsite there and then we haven't got anything else booked after that. So we're sort of winging it and hoping for some airs and things like that as we pass through the Black Forest and into France. There are stupendous mountains on the way to the lake where we're going today. So I'm hoping it'll stop raining and the sun might come out and then we'll get some fabulous shots. So we'll see you later. The Danube's looking quite choppy today. I presume because of the wind. We had quite a blowy gale this morning, didn't we? Um, shook the van a little bit. Woke us all up at half past six. We're just leaving. I've had a really nice time. I uh, don't think we have to give them anything. We've already nope. paid, so... Cherry blossom is looking, or apple blossom maybe, is looking amazing. I think it's cherry, actually, looking at the bark. Right, onward towards the UK, and we're praying that the Eurotunnel isn't closed or the ferries aren't... Not going on a ferry, but if the ferries are closed, then... The tunnel might be busy. I don't know if I'm supposed to go. This is the way we came up, yeah. Yeah, I know. It's just whether or not I'm supposed to come down this way as well. Well, the other one just goes round the river, doesn't it? Yeah. Does it stop this way? So it does stop this way, yes. Anchor there. Okay, this way. There's a bakery up there. Is there? some shooting going on in the background but Bella's having the best place for a wee in the whole world, eh Buzz? <laughs> 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 
Luke has been stressing about the road slightly, but you can't stay on the motorway your whole life. You'll miss everything. So we're just warming up some leftover chilli and warming up the wraps on the top. Save dishes. <laughs> so Doug made a lovely little chilli last night. So we've got plenty leftovers. So that'll be today's lunch in this park up. Yum, yum. Right, we've had lunch. It's time to hit the road again. So probably about an hour or so left, I think. Maybe it's an hour and a half, I don't know. It's quite a hilly and windy road, so it might take us a little bit longer. into song but I won't <laughs> I wouldn't subject you to that logs and logs more logs and some beautiful mountains with sun out again Hurrah. I can see straight on it says ten kilometers and I'm running out of battery. first arrived on site, Doug took this amazing photograph of the view from our van. By the time I put my coat on, ready to go and explore, this is what it looked like. The weather changed really quickly and we went from sun to snow within a few seconds. <laughs> Thank you. 
Sunday morning. It's been snowing all night um, and the cloud didn't lift for me to get too many pictures but uh, Doug did take a couple with the sun on everything. Uh, we are setting off towards Baden Baden today. We've got quite a distance to cover and the weather's not been great so whether we'll get to see much of the Black Forest I don't know. So that is it for today. In the next video we will be travelling from Baden Baden through France and up to the Euro Tunnel and then into the UK. So all that's left to say is from me, Doug and Bella. Bye for now. See you in the next one.